to our sponsors. That's three, my project, Doghouse. We got a lot of Auto Canada, we got a lot of. What's up guys, it's BK, so today we're out here at Chikwala. Doghouse Garage is hosting a track event out here. We got some hella sick cars from a variety of class levels. And uh, it's pretty cool, so Doghouse is having, it, having all the drivers set up, get ready for a shoot. Look at this, hell yeah! Look at this EG right here. Hey, what's up guys, it's PK, it's about midday or so, but this morning you had some seat time today, so I am part of Intermediate Low. Shout out to Albert, Albert couldn't come out, as negative as that sounds, couldn't bring out his F05, but that means we get to drive the FK8. We wanted to bring out the B-Series, but as you guys see, we're sadly still not done with that car, so had to bring the good old reliable safety net uh, FK8. It's doing amazing. So Doghouse Garage, they're hosting an event out here at Chuck Walla Speedway out in Southern California. I've done my first session. So for you guys that don't watch my videos, uh, I do a lot of YouTube content relative to Honda's FK8 scene just in general. So just a quick reminder of what my car has. Pretty much bone stock, except that it has Swift Springs, uh, Max Camber that you can from OEM spec, PRL intake, Honda, Parametric, stage two tune with uh which which allows you to run e85 this morning i am running e20 so i'm probably pushing somewhere around 320 330 horsepower if i had the full e40 i would probably be around 360 363 so the car does feel a little gunky a little slowish to me compared to what i typically run but sadly chuck walla out here the closest gas station is about 10 miles. The closest E85 gas station is about 50 miles from here. So as you guys can see, <laughs> the gas tank is it's probably like a 300 max. So I mean, if I go to pick up gas and come back, I'm already at like 100 miles, which is already like half a tank. So sadly, uh, we're just rocking some just 91 with some leftover E that I did have in the car. But uh, you know, let's do a quick walk around. So. Like I mentioned, that's pretty much all the car has. Um, I am running the Firehawks today. I didn't expect them to do as great as they did. And I mean, honestly, I really didn't have no expectations, but for the track, I mean, they're doing great. Um, I'm not mad at them at all. I'm pretty satisfied. I'm probably one of the top faster guys due to the car I have and the overall power. Uh, all the guys in my class are either 350, 370s, or uh, EKs and so so I mean considering power wise I'm probably the most powerful out there besides a C5 vet um, when it comes to handling I mean I, I the car itself has a way more potential than me personally my my driving skills is not up to par to what the car can do uh, I'm not pushing it to the edge I really didn't expect to bring the car out here but like I said we're out here we're having fun and that's what matters so appreciate you guys if you leave a thumbs up if you guys want to see more content I had to track this is my first time at Chuck Walla doing counterclockwise which means all the turns go from wide to very tight and so far I feel like I haven't felt that tightness as much as I thought I would um, in videos that I've seen on YouTube for reference and studying 
they kind of look to be tighter than what they real what the reality is but again it could be i'm just not going fast enough on my update of session one i'm pretty happy having fun great to see other hondas out here uh, shout out to doghouse shout out to hung thank you guys for hosting these type of events for us guys i want to go a little bit faster not on the streets keeping it safe so yes it is a little bit extra money yes it's not street racing but i mean it's a lot more fun it's a controlled environment i'm having fun i'm passing cars i'm letting cars pass me everyone's respectable and having fun out here safely so that's what matters and uh let's see how i do in session two which i'm about to start oh, attention in the place intermediate low intermediate low so talking five minute call five minute call for intermediate low drivers so so just so just like you heard intermediate lows coming up so i'll let you guys know give you guys a better update how i did in session two i'm gonna try to push it more i'm gonna try to see if i can reach a uh, better time or raw but i think my biggest critique if you guys do have a type r considering i do have about stock power and stock braking um you know i'm, I'm running the 2020 plus oem two piece with the 2020 brake pad so i mean this is as stock as you're gonna get besides maybe the tires and the te's but um braking wise they do they do have cones out there which are like four cone three cone two cone one cone and i'm, I'm kind of using those as my ballpark my measuring tools um kind of using those as my ballpark measuring references but uh currently i'm i'm breaking doing hard breaking at the fourth cone but i'm realizing i can probably push myself a little bit and break even later which will allow me go, go into the turn faster and hopefully it comes out faster out of the truck out of the turns so braking wise i feel like i could do better i'm still trying to figure out my gearing debating if i should do third gear or fourth gear uh fourth gear i, I could be on track the entire time in fourth gear um i really don't need to go into third gear but it does help going into third in some of the places just because it feels like i get more umph more more of that turbo spool um but yeah so i'm still debating if i should stay in fourth or go into third but overall i'm pretty happy and pretty satisfied so Let's keep going, guys. <laughs> Bro, look at this shit. <laughs> So both Lewis and I finished our second session. So we actually brought out is a TLX A spec. How'd you do? How'd you feel? More confident this time for sure. Yeah, the second session. Yeah, cause uh, I I've been here clockwise. Yeah. And then this was counterclockwise, and I was like, it lucky like curveballed me, cause I was like coming up those corkscrews, and I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> I, I'm, it's cause Bud and Willow has the same type of corkscrew where you don't see. But over does Bud and Willow have a counter? Yeah, both. Oh, they have both. Though. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. How, how do you feel about the TLX? Dude, I like it. It's, it's fun. Yeah. It's like a. Does it feel heavy compared to FO5? Or how does it, it compare does, it to. It doesn't feel heavy. It, the weird thing is because it's all wheel drive. Like, you have a lot more grip in the rear. So it's like. You, you're kind of not driving like a front wheel. Like, you're kind of. You know, like front wheel, you're driving like really close. Uh, yeah. But then with this, like. You can be like where the real wars are, like all the way in the on the right hand side. So you can be like out in the very outer edge, yeah, yeah, and then swoop in because you have that rear traction. But in the front wheel drive, you're kind of just like kind of trying to make the back kind of smooth a little so bit. On the outer bank, you you stay high. Yeah, on the uh, this, this big outer bank, like I can like stay like right where on, the rear wheel drives are, like yeah. all the way at the edge, and then like swoop around and then come in. But with the front wheel, like if I was driving the R, I would have to be like like mid to like close to like trying to in the get inner that, side get that apex like right at the yeah but with this you can kind of just like swoop it and then plus it's like it's it's, it's a 10 speed so it's just shifting for you yeah and yeah. then the cool thing about this it has like a sequential mode so like the transmission so it just tries to shift by itself so it's hella fast like it's faster yeah. than automatic i think i was just going around like 70 to 80 was the average like the whole way around yeah so which is pretty fast i mean for a fucking and like i say like a b series like dude you'd be like in fifth gear the whole time <laughs> yeah, right yeah yeah <laughs> Yeah, because you're cruising in a B series, B16 Trani, 80 miles per hour is like 4,000 RPM. Like 20 miles is every thousand. So like fourth gear, you'd be like maxing it, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so it's like with this, you're just kind of like cruising it. But I kind of like want to use the paddles, but I'm like, nah, I think the computer's faster. Yeah, yeah. 
but it's cool. I mean, we're running out of tire already. Yeah, for just just for some seat time. I don't know if you guys can see, but you know, they're pretty much they're pretty much done or near done. Yeah, but uh -oh. they're gripping though because I got that dirt inside of them. So Lewis got a uh, second slower than me. Doesn't mean doesn't mean much because obviously, like I said, uh, so the second session I did kind of go a little bit deeper. Um, I got two seconds faster, but again, just rocking fire hogs. I feel like I'm sliding around a lot. So anything over 80 miles per hour in a turn, I do feel the car sliding a bit more and kind of loses my confidence. And so we were talking about it right now. So this is supposed to be red. It's not red. It's not even pink no more. It's like titanium looking white now. Um, but if you see inside there, but if you see inside there, you see that? It's not supposed to be there. <laughs> so I think my wheels, they're not balanced no more. At least halfway through the session, I started breathing some of my brake fluid or I guess just overall my brakes. But uh, yeah, they're pretty much done though. Um, I'm gonna check them there. I mean, they're, they're probably still great. Braking power is still great, but yeah, you can definitely smell it and work in hella. So pull this all off. We were just all kind of standing there for like, I don't know, five seconds. And I'm like, where's all this smoke? So like, you literally you just see a bunch of smoke coming out of my brakes. Oh, your brakes yeah. are heating up? Oh. Yeah, they were just... There hey, some guy was trying to chase me down. They were just like smoking. And an MR2? Oh, yeah. Right behind me, and then he like, as soon as we started this, this like third turn over here, Yeah. he like just blew off the truck. <laughs> I, was, I was like, what the fuck? Yeah. I was well, just looking at my rear view, and I was like, huh. This, I mean, like I said, shout out to Albert. It was a, he gave me his ticket, so I got two, two sessions that I didn't even expect any, so happy, had hella fun want to go out there again just keep going over and over and over but it just feels so quick like honestly it's a 20 minute session four or five laps and even then i may be pretty much after the third fourth lap i'm in it i'm hot i'm focused and that's when they give the checker flag so sucks you know that it's only a 20 minute session but that's kind of how it is um but uh been having hella fun again shout out to doghouse really appreciate you guys organizing these events it's lunchtime now let's uh go get some food walk around see what we find and then after that we're pretty much it for this day so really appreciate everyone's support really appreciate leave a thumbs up subscribe for more stuff like this leave a comment guys should we do more track events with the fk um like i mentioned we do have that ej track car that's going to be the full dedicated track car but i mean do you guys want to see the fk more i want to drive it more just because I'm over here like having a blast in this compared to like EJ's, EK's. I see them in my rear mirror. They're all struggling and stuff, but uh, I'm over here just chilling and cruising. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let's see if there's anything else gonna go on, but just in case we end the video here, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to subscribe for more Type R content, R size content, six chain content, and just content at the shop. So catch you guys next time, guys. Sell it. <laughs> and it was at 350. Seems like you gotta buy a Z now. <laughs> nah, nah, not for this, bro. Hey. <laughs> Couldn't it be like a spoon lib or something. <laughs> you yeah. want a 350 Z test pipe. Hey, I'm gonna slap it on the EJ. <laughs> Dude, it'll probably work.